The other day I printed all of these business cards from this piece of foil. And it was a lengthy process, but I'm pretty happy with the results considering I printed them all with a spoon. Now I need to make a front side. My plan for the front of the cards is to hopefully minimize the amount of work I have to do. So I have a bunch of sketches. I am going to do six designs all on one piece of foil so that I can roll them up together and not have to roll up and print each one separately. The next step is to transfer the images. I even have space for eight. If I mess one or two of them up, I should have enough to make printing easier. So here goes. I, I actually did this exact same thing yesterday. However, I wasn't totally planned out with my designs and I ended up not liking them. So I'm trying to do something that just has a little bit more thought in the way it's drawn. Now at this point I'm ready to draw and I think I will be using mostly my Mitsubishi Dermatograph pencil as well as this Stones number no. 5 litho crayon. So I'm going to snap that into the holder and those are going to be my main drawing materials. Done the first two, and now I will go on to the next level once those are dry. The drawings are done, cola has been applied, but I'm gonna have to wait until I print them to know if I actually like them. I'm hoping that out of the eight, at least four of them I can use. As I had expected, I'm not a fan of the way all of the drawings turned out, but I think four of them will work. In the end, I managed to print myself over 100 business cards. The hardest part of this process was the side that had my name and contact information. Would I do it again? For the image side, absolutely. But I think I would go for only the image being kitchen litho and have the name and contact info printed by letterpress. Thanks for watching today's video and see you again soon with another home printmaking experiment.